Hey, good afternoon everyone. I am back out detecting today, which is actually the 16th, I believe. But anyway, it's a warm day. I told you yesterday I'm going to try to get out these last couple days, just even if it's just for a little bit. And um, I'm actually, there's the road I walk in on, and I'm just going to come right in along this area. This is where I got the button yesterday, up in this area. And I'm going to try to stay right close to the road. I just picked up this little thin piece of metal right here. A few inches down. There's still a lot of um, iron signals here. As you can see, I scraped the place there. Scraped the place over there. But um, I think this might have been a pathway to go in to the home site that was up this direction. And... Um, so again, this is the area I got the uh, shoe buckle in a few years back. Actually, coin spill way up over there with a couple nickels and I think it was actually 11 of them. Uh, 10, 8 or 9 di nickel uh, pennies, I'm sorry. Indian head pennies and then um, a couple nickels, I believe, from 1865, if I recall properly. So it's just, again, nice day to get out. I'm going to try to make my way through this edge because man put this road in and uh, you know people are living out here so I'm going to give it a go this is what I got so far and we'll see how we do alright see ya well just found me something else that's interesting kind of talking a little low somebody just walked by and waiting for them to get up the road a little bit further as I said I am right next to the road People are typically walking dogs through here, and I don't want to <clears throat> kind of freak them out. So, right here in this hole, I just pulled a 22 slug, which is no big deal. And one thing I did learn, though, I think the 22 actually came out in the mid to late 1800s. So that could be a low. That could be old itself. And then I got another signal right next to it, as you can see, foot away. Yeah, just my foot. And I got one of these. And it's interesting because it looks like a clasp or something to a chain. This is actually the second one I got. Uh, I don't think I videotaped the other one I got. Not recently, but in the spring. And I just thought it was interesting to have um, two of those that I've caught. And they're buggers to find. I mean, you can see how small the thing is. So they're kind of hard, but they ring up. High 50s, low 60s. So I think it's... You know, I'm not sure if it's silver or not, but anyway, just wanted to show you that. And when I find something else, I'll show it to you. See ya. Well, it's been a while since I showed you anything. Just been working my way through there. In fact, this clean area, I might work my way back up. Because that looks like a walkway. I've just been trying to get down here closer to the road. And um, right up there... Straight up is where the house site is, I think. So, I just found this hunk of metal. Just wanted to show it to you. It was ringing up kind of weird, so I figured I'd just dig it. Dug me a big hole. It was down. Ah, four or five inches anyway. But I'm going to keep meandering through here. Over there is where I found the shoe buckle. So, you know, people might think, well, why do you keep going back to places? Because over the years... You know, the ground shifts, you get frost and all that. Ground dynamics change. Uh, you know, wet, dry, that type of thing. So, it doesn't hurt to go back and hit your old sights like it did yesterday and found me a button. So, I'm going to keep poking around and when I find something else, I'll show it to you. See ya. Well, it's getting late, everyone. And I wanted to just kind of show you this last hole I've been working on. Uh, metal detector is actually bombing out so as I was coming out the battery died and as I was coming out I wanted to find this hole because see this hole right here two years ago maybe not two years ago maybe last year I forget but anyway started digging this hole it was coming up with a 72 78 nice high numbers so I want to show you where I had to dig this. I had to dig around that root, that root, this root, way down in there. 
I don't think you can see it real well. Way at the bottom, there's another root right in the middle, two, right there. So I had to get under that, under that, all around this. Like I said, boss guy's digging it and it quit. Yesterday I actually came by the hole, saw it, started working on it a little bit, quit. But this was the thing that was under there, piece of flashing. But see, you never know, because that could have been a coin, it could have been a lodge scent, and you just got to dig them out, so... That's what metal detecting is about. Don't quit. Don't give up. Even if it's way down in that root mess. Just do the best you can with what you got. Because one day you're going to pull that large scent out. Alright. So that's going to be it. For today. I'm going to make my way out. And it uh, wasn't that great of a day. So probably won't do a tailgate wrap up. This will probably be my last, my last slide. So anyway. I'm going to charge the batteries up in the metal detector, hopefully get out tomorrow maybe, I don't know, honestly, but um, that might be it, so, alright, just wanted to show you that, never give up, see ya.